Hi, welcome to the section of cardiology, the study of the heart. This is Dr. Jaitley. In this section, I'm going to be talking to you about what is a Holter monitor. I'm sure time and again, you come across that term. Well, the doctor will prescribe the physician, uh, the patient, the patient uh, Holter monitor. Well, what exactly does that mean? Basically, it's, it's a full 24-hour ECG recording device, which the person gets to wear with some leads attached to the chest, as simple as that. So it's almost the size of your cell phone these days because it used to be bigger, it used to carry a battery, it used to carry a, uh, uh, actually one of those VHS tapes, but now it just carries a very small battery and it's digital. So it has its own 24 hour uh, way of recording ECG and it's a very small device, almost the size and the weight of your cell phone. So after wearing it, uh, one doesn't even know, you know or, or uh, remember where it is because it's only it's in your coat pocket or in your trouser pocket. Or you can wear it around your neck with a, with a small little uh, uh, necklace. So what does it tell us? It tells us that basically there are some heart rate irregularities that may develop during the day, during the course of the day while somebody is anxious, somebody is participating in sport activity or maybe at work so all of those irregularities can be picked up and they could be analyzed and it, uh, the doctor gets to see all these normal beats versus abnormal beats like here's an abnormal beat this is an irregular premature beat this is an arrhythmia which is like a very rapid beat but it's also irregular so these spurts of irregularity during the course of the 24 hours that the patient gets to wear, the individual gets to wear, the person is also instructed to press a small button or at least maintain a small piece of diary uh, during those 24 hours to note if any symptoms develop during the time and those symptoms are then correlated by the physician or by the technician who analyzes it and uh, uh, the symptom correlation with the arrhythmia is very, very important. Like if somebody presses the button and says, uh, has palpitations while sitting and watching TV at 5 p.m. or watching news. So that could be reflected here, for instance. Or, or somebody uh, notes that during the night, uh, the person felt dizzy when uh, he or she got up to go to the bathroom. It could be because of an irregular rhythm here and some premature beats. So any of those correlations will be very helpful to the physician and that's the point of noting the, uh, the instructions there that the symptom correlation is important. So the patient actually presents the next day and returns the monitor, also gives a small note to the patient, uh, to the physician stating that, uh, look, these were the symptoms that I had or I did not have any symptoms whatsoever etc etc so those are very important for the physician or the technologist who is going to be analyzing this and then reporting it to the physician so once once all of this is uh, tabulated the number of beats number of uh, abnormal beats the kinds of arrhythmias the kinds of fast arrhythmias or the slow arrhythmias there were any like slowing of the heartbeat if it's too far or slowing were there any drop beats, etc., etc. So a lot of a lot of information can be achieved uh, during this Holter monitoring uh, device that's uh, placed on the person's chest. So, uh, in a nutshell, it's a 24-hour uh, you know ECG recording that the patient gets to carry, almost the size of a cell phone, and a whole dearth of information as far as rhythm disturbances or even irregularities are ascertained based on this test. Uh, we'll be talking about more in details as we go along further, so stay tuned and uh, hope you enjoyed this part. Thank you for your attention.